So this is the main power strip. This power right here is the extension cord that goes back to the key banger and that energizes the small power supply for the key banger. This black cord, this energizes the big box on the back. That's the main power supply for the spider's legs and most of the solenoids. The white cord, the white cord comes back here and runs um, power out to both the right and left um, solenoids. Right and left solenoids are 110 volt AC so that's why I have that one. Um, then, so I'll go turn that on. And then you come around the back here. So this is, you hear, this has a cooling fan in it. This is actually a very expensive uh, power supply. Brand new, they're probably like three to $500. But um, of course I picked it up used, so it didn't cost me that much. And um, this is the main power switch for the power supply. I always just leave that on. Um, basically turn everything on and off with that switch I showed you up front. Okay, so there's one main air feed for this whole prop. Um, I have more than 100 PSI coming in on my airline for my air compressor. So I got this uh, regulator here, set it to about 80 PSI. And this blue line right here is the main air feed that goes into the prop. Again, there's only one air connection for this prop. And it's that blue line. That's the main air in. And then you'll notice another line going into a T. That's the main exhaust port out. And the reason I have that hooked up is it just spits out all the unused or all the used air from the solenoids, and it makes a, a hissing noise every time it kicks out and expels the air. So I put that off. Just it's just a piece of hose that runs off somewhere else, so you don't hear it right at the prop. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull, pull the top off so we can get to the guts here, and we're gonna start with just a brief discussion on the the solenoids okay so we're gonna start back here so this first solenoid right here it's a five port solenoid the five point five port solenoid has the main air goes in here and then the main output air are these two here and then these two next to the main air in are vents out so those would vent to the exhaust and just blow out the unused air this is pretty much how all the five port solenoids are on this thing um, so these two here that spit out the air they go out here and will push the spider in and out okay and this is the manual override button little orange button here when I push this down you'll see the spider push out when I push this down you see the spider push out I let it go and the spider comes in okay and and over here, this is the solenoid that operates the the side to side for right direction. It's the same thing, air in, vents out, and outputs go to one of these air cylinders. So when I push the menu override, it's going to swing to the right. And when I let it go, it's going to pop back. You just got to be careful because you get your hand in between the moving parts and that would be bad. So I'm just showing you that's how you manually do it. The reason why it's good to check with manual sometimes you have electrical problems and you don't know where you have a problem you don't know if it's electrical or air so these manual valves are great because you can just push in and the whole thing will move over okay this other this other one here is the left side to side so when i push this it's going to operate the other it's going to operate the other cylinder and make it go the other way okay and then we're going to move on up here Okay, so this one is the next one in place here. It's got a manual valve here, and that does the head tilt. And then you have another one here, and the little manual override is there, and that does the jaw open and close. You can see, you can see the two little air cylinders, and that's the jaw open and close. The, the next one is a spitter. That takes the water from the reservoir, mixes it with air, and spits it out through the front. This one does not have a manual override, so we can't show you manually. It only works electronically. Okay, we're going to go back here and run through the programming. Okay, this is the key banger here. The key banger itself does all the programming for the unit. And then down below here is the relays. These relays here take the output from the key banger 
and uh, they will drive all the solenoids we just looked at. This relay right here is the relay that turns on and off the legs up front and this is a diode pack that operates the relay for the legs and the diodes basically tie into you see the brown wires so these diodes here keep the the um, legs from the leg motor from feeding back into the other circuits so that keeps it all separated so when it, whenever we're doing anything with any of the other solenoids the legs are going to automatically move during the time the solenoids are in.